Hello and welcome back to my lecture series on statistics. Today I'm going to show you how to actually get started with a statistical analysis. So when we do statistics, what we usually do is we start with a graphical description of the data that we collected. And the easiest way of starting with such a graphical presentation of our data is to construct a diagram consisting of an x and a y axis. And the most important thing that you need to decide before starting your analysis is what are the response variables and what are the explanatory variables. So the response variable, that's what we have measured, what we have measured. And the response variable is usually what our primary interest lies in. So what are the explanatory variables? As the name already says, it's a variable that explains something. So the explanatory variables are variables that explain or um, at least we believe that they explain patterns in the response variable. And usually we have experimental control over the explanatory variables. So that's what we have manipulated. What we have manipulated experimentally. Let's think of some examples. Let's say we've done a survey of plants in some experimental setting. So the potential response variable would be biomass of our plants per square meter. So per square meter. And potentially one explanatory variable could be fertilizer addition. And in that case it could be for example no or yes. So either we fertilized our plants or we didn't. So on the XY pane it would look like that. The fertilizer addition would come on the x-axis with no and yes or zero and one. And the biomass in grams per square meter would be this would be shown on the y-axis, for example, no biomass at all or hundred grams per square meter. Biomass and the unit of biomass would be grams per square meter. And whenever you start a statistical analysis, that's what you should think of first. What are the response variables? What are the explanatory variables? And in the next lecture, I'm going to show you which different types of response and explanatory variables are there. Thank you for listening to me, and I hope that I'll see you again in the next lecture. Bye-bye.